talking about miracles, talking about faith, talking about an afterlife. When I was in uh, public housing, I met a guy from Germany who was homeless in Germany for a long time and finally got over here and found a real purpose. He would drive blind people for one-fourth the amount that it would cost the blind person to get a taxi, including the seeing eye dog, which he pointed out to me that he couldn't charge for the, for the seeing eye dog because taxis can't charge for uh, help dogs like that too. But he's a really interesting guy, and a little dogmatic for me, but he was one of those guys who was mentally ill and fully functioning. I mean, he drives all over the city in all conditions to help these blind people better other people's lives. They were ministering to other people and helping them how to function and the nuts and bolts of everything about being blind. And uh, Scotty, who's blind, uh, was a good friend of mine. And uh, he's the one that didn't. He's the one that maintained the bitterness like I had for years and years. And he just wanted to be high all the time. I mean, I've never seen someone suck so hard on a joint in my life. And that's the way he dealt with it. But I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge him at all. But definitely one of the greatest miracles ever is my friend uh friend, I'll call him Al. Al cut off his left arm at this point, right about right about there, a little lower, right about there. And the fact that he hit the radial artery, sawed through all the tendons and ligaments and bones was utterly astonishing that he didn't bleed out. But he didn't. And there's no other way to describe that than a miracle. And you keep running into these and they build upon each other and they strengthen your faith more and more. And But the way you get at these things is that first step over the line and say, okay, I'm willing to at least set Darwinian fundamentalism aside and see if there's anything to these New Testament teachings and, and question, always question, you know. Uh, God says in the Bible that uh, he loves people who search, peop search for him with all his heart and that he rewards them. And I, what do I have to lose, you know, when I see a guy with that kind of miracle and um, that incredible story and now working full time, he's still in the public housing. But uh, great, 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 wonderful man. Here's to you, Al. I remember Billy? <laughs> no, no.